we'll be hearing from the captain of Hi the now. Cork team. Hi, right. we the Cork team. Be my own Lord, I'm so. I will. Be your own, sorry. Cornsha, Corn McCarrig, exactly her next Cork team. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I have very little to say, except that we are very glad to be going back with this cup tonight. I'd like to thank everybody involved in this preparation of this team. I'd like to thank in particular today the Wexford team, who gave us just a fantastic game, a fine, clean, sporting game. So, three cheers for Wexford. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hooray! In conclusion, I would like to thank our live supporters for the tremendous support they've given us. And so Liam Fennelly joins his brother Joe as a captain of the Kilkenny winning All Ireland team. His own bit of Fennelly history. could be and rightly so they've broken back and the Cork followers gathered around the stand and here's John Received the league championship this season and now he completes the double. Connor Hayes, the most successful captain, I suppose, ever of a Galway team. The McCarthy Cup. Poshy Adol Dungale. Aukaran. Way to the guy of a. I was a cardiac. Sir Arthur. 
Well, it's been a devastating afternoon where Tipperary are concerned and their mentors and substitutes. That's it. Tipperary are the champions. The famine is well and truly over. And so Tipperary, with that final score, are the champions for the 23rd time. The McCarthy Cup returns to the Premier County. Bobby, August, on Shin, Corn McCarthy, could eat every dollar. Like his uncle, Pat Staker, of 40 years ago, Bobby Ryan receives the McCarthy Cup. Tipperary have bridged an 18 year gap. They are the worthy champions. And these Tip fans have travelled the country in support of their team with Nicky English superb. We'll always remember this terrific occasion. I looked around. Oh, that's bug. Winter Hibbidorn. Winter and Tuscart. August of Cordigale. Near Cap May Reeve. Command Shah. The Ordano Hogan. The Bark and Crokey. Or Lost Shah. It's more on the Northern. Behound on you. Well, I'm set, we can see go all like a dinner. But more and more, we turn like more Castellani. I hope on chance more doing in you. It is a great honor for me to accept the Lee McCarthy Cup on behalf of this wonderful Tipperary team. Especially like to thank. Firstly, the people of Lockmore Castellani who have given me the greatest honour in my hurling career. <laughs> to, especially also to three men who I feel have done more for Tipperary hurling since they've retired in all the years they did while they were playing. To Babs, Donnie, and Theo, I say simply. to the men of Antrim because I think they have brought something special to Crow Park today. They have done so much for the game of hurling up there and it's my wish and I'm, I'm sure it's the people of Tipperary's wish that their, their day will come soon. So with that, I would like to have three rousing cheers from the gallant men from the Glen. Hip, hip! <laughs> the Tipperary dressing room is absolutely a great. It's a very proud moment indeed for Tomal Smolkahi, captain of Cork. The cup goes back to Lee's side for the first time in four years. Galway has yet to beat Cork in a final. President of Ireland, 
President Kamalu Pasquale and people of Cork. We've done it! I'd like to thank a few people on behalf of the team because since last October, we're on the road to bring him back to McCarthy Cup to Cork and we've achieved it. I'd like to thank our selectors, Martin Coleman, Liam Otuma and Dennis Hurley, Frank Murphy. And above all, I'd like to thank two people, Gerald McCarthy and Paula Michael O'Brien. After this, he might be canonised to Saint Father Michael. I'd like to pay tribute to a gallant Galway team. They've had a bit of a look in finals, but we came up here today with one thing in mind, and that was to win. So I'd like to have three cheers for Galway. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip.
Kilkenny the champions once again. Triumphant scenes here. I'm thinking of one man who's missing it today. Mick Frawley of Tipperary is in hospital. Oh, Wished well. Selectors, Cosmel Hare, Mick Spain, Andy Gallagher, and Pat Malachny. And these last two men, what can one say about them? They came from Limerick three times a week. One last name is Derry O'Donovan. We call him a lot worse than that some nights during the winter. The last man to have the tank is Eamon Cregan. <laughs> to Gary Kirby and his faithful men, I say hard luck. You had it for the taking, but we finished the stronger. But you're a young team, and you'll be back again. Three cheers for Limerick. Have hip! Have hip! Have hip! Scenes of absolute jubilation. The Barons beat. I hope they weren't coming Luke Laskill. Pana has some down on him. And currently in Macaulay Show. A Glocka has some Fernie Morney as Cundale Tower. There's been, there's been a missing person in Clare for 81 long years. Well, today, that person has been found alive and well, and that person's name is Liam McCarthy. Listen to many, many jibes down through the years. We were told to stick to our traditional music. Well, in Clare, we love our traditional music, but we love our hurling as well. <laughs> many people are due many thanks, so that today might have become a reality. And I think first and foremost at this time of the many great player teams down through the years who never, many of those teams were better than this player team, but they were never as fortunate as we were. Now, we accept this Liam McCarthy Cup on behalf of all of those teams, whoever wore the player jersey. And finally, the man who would die and has died for clear hurling, and so that this day his obsession might become a reality. A man who gave every last drop of sweat and blood he had, the great Gerlot Nan. It's going to be one hell of a week, 
and we look forward to seeing you in Innes tomorrow night. Finally, finally we say to Offaly, for many years you have been our inspiration. We looked at your success story and said, why can't we achieve that? And we thank you sincerely for a great struggle today. And we know that Offaly Hurling is so strong now that it'll be back again. Three cheers for Offaly. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Come on, the banner. But what a game. And they'll always remember it. Taoiseach. Walked around, coming to Lucas Gale. Pan Aasan down on him. And Curran Liam McCarrick show. Her son Fern Imani as Kundi and Clare. It gives me great pleasure and no little honour to accept this Liam McCarthy Cup on behalf of the people of the Banner County. It is, it is indeed fitting that in this year of 1997, the 150th anniversary of the birth of another great Clareman, the great Michael Kilzak, that we accept this cup. Nineteen ninety-seven will also be remembered as a historic year. It was the year of the All Munster final. We have always respected your tradition and your great. Your great tradition and your list of honours. But today we are delighted that we can finally compete on an even level. If all the people, if all the people that were due thanks by me were thanked, we'd be here all week and we need to get back to Innes. But a special mention for our sponsor, Pat O'Donnell and the Clare County Board. To all, to all our medical people who helped us throughout the year, but especially to two, to Colin Flynn and Dr. Padraig Quinn. To the wider panel of players, it just wasn't 26 people here that we had today. We had great men who trained with us all year. And on behalf of the panel, I'd like to thank those players now. But finally, for the second time in, two year, in three years, we owe great thanks to three great men, Considine, Mac, and the great Lachlan. Nothing dreamed about. The team of 68 can take a back seat. It's now about the men of 96. Wexford are the All Ireland hurling champions. It's been a wonderful championship, the Guinness Hurling Championship, and Wexford emerged victorious. I hope they're on the hearing. I hope they're on coming to Lutas Grail. Accorda. Augustine and Lock Arman. Kafir Arhazarim. And Karn Sahad Laka. And Han Fernamani of the Lock Arman. 
Agus ar horn winter lock garmin. It's fada tame nek fanakt. Ansha, agus ta la untak. Glavor, agus e doing galayer. Agus beg, crack a wing. An shaft and shock hoing. Agus on me shock hoing. Lady President, Jack Bookman, President of the GAA, and people of Wexford and Limerick. This is an unbelievable day for me and the Wexford team. I can't describe to you what it meant to be. It's been a, a boyhood dream of mine to Harland Crow Park. That was my dream. Let alone the captain of Wexford team and a great Wexford team to victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been described as the bridesmaids of Harland. Well, today we got married. Yeah. Now, I want to start a few thank yous. And if I leave anyone out, please forgive me because I don't know what really I'm saying up here. First of all, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Wexford Creamery, who stuck with us through thick and thin. And at last, we brought them a bit. I'd like to thank the Wexford County Board. I suppose they were, they were getting to the stage that they were nearly getting fed up sending teams to Crow Park. But at last we won something for them. Most, most importantly, I'd like to thank you, the people of Wexford, who stuck with us through thick and thin. Hooray, Wexford! I'd like... I'd like to thank our doctor, Dr. Stephen Bow. I'd like to thank our three physios and our trainer, Sean Collier, Pat Whitney, Chris Clearmore, and Aidan O'Connor, who done the bandage in Paris, and our special friend, Lee Fitzpatrick. Now, I would like to thank Rory Kinsler and Seamus Barron for the work that they have done for us and they have done an unbelievable amount of work for us for the last two years. Now, I would like to thank one man that has made all this possible for us. People, people in Wexford didn't hear of Liam Griffin. But I'll tell you one thing, the whole world knows Liam Griffin now. Liam Griffin! Thing. But Liam Griffin really is the Messiah. Even though he says he's not, he's our Messiah. He led us to victory. Now, I would like to thank Limerick. Limerick gave us a very tough and a sporting match and a hard match and a physical match. And I would like you to give three cheers at me for Limerick. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Now, Garmin, a boom. 20 years it's been. Billy Dooley in there. What a day for the Dooley family. Johnny Pilkington as well. And a day for all of these Offaly fans here in Croke Park, at home in Offaly itself. And Offaly people, of course, also throughout the world. I mentioned he was shy. Look around. Look around. Come and look past here. Reads are off wall, yeah. Mrs. President, President GA, people of Offaly, we've done it! We may have come in through the back door, but we're going out the front!
There's a lot of people that needs to be thanked for this day. And really, I don't know where to start. We have trained, started training since last October for this. I want to especially mention the places that give, give the venues for training during the year. I'd like to mention a special thanks to Shinron GEA for the indoor training. Also, to the St. Rhinus GA Club for providing their facilities. And lastly, to Tullamore GA for their facilities. I want to thank our sponsors, Karen Leeds, and any other people who sponsored us during the year especially five lads back in the middle of January who sponsored us for indoor training up in Shinron. I want to thank the county board and all its officials. And I want to thank Pat Malachty and Paul Hare who's been with us for the whole year.
Pleasure to accept the Lee McCarthy Cup on behalf of this outstanding Tipperary panel. It's been a long, lonely <laughs> journey for us. We thought we'd never, we thought we'd never again lift it, but today makes up for all the bad days. I want to thank a few people. I want to thank our selectors, Jack Bergen. Ken Holden and one lad called Nicky English. I want to thank all our backroom staff John Hoppine Hayes, Pauline Fanning, the great AK, and all the people that contributed to this success. I want to thank our county board, our supporters club. But for all down the years, when we were winning nothing, put their hands in their pockets and supported us day in and day out. This is for you, lads. I want to thank our supporters for giving us an unbelievable sport. Thanks very much. And last but not least, I want to thank an outstanding Galway team for a tremendous sporting game of hurling today to put us right to the pin of our colours. I'd like to give them three cheers. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! hip, hip. I walked around, I walked around, coming Luke Haskell. Dina Kai Kenny, get her foot on down. Tana Thurm, I'm Colin Lee McCarthy, a Glock at Dunfer and Kai Canish. We may have lost two All Irelands, but them ghosts have been firmly diminished here today. Yes! Uh, there's a few people who have to be thanked here to bring this cup back to Kenny. Uh, our manager, Brian Cody. Great man. Our selectors, Johnny Welch and Noel Skeen. The backroom staff in total. But most of all, I'd like to thank the 30 players, the guys who come in with us throughout the year. It was heartbreaking for some people. But really, it's down to the players. And they've done the hard work from last November to bring back the McCarthy Cup to Kilkenny. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Glombia. Uh, a special thanks to my club, O'Loughlin Gales. Only for them guys, I wouldn't be up here today, and the players from O'Loughlin Gales. Thank you, PC. Uh, to Claire, what can be said? They gave us a, one hell of a rattle there today, and each and every one of them done their county proud and their clubs. And I'd like to offer three cheers for a great clear team. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Thank you very much. They're that good a team. The fans will enjoy the occasion and the evening later on. Uthran is here. Uthran Kumaluka Scale. T-Shock. Akarja. 
It's a great pleasure and honour for me to accept the Lee McCarthy Cup on behalf of this great Kilkenny team for the second year in a row. Well, it's a great day for Kilkenny Hurling. It is a great day for Hurling, and that, in no uncertain terms, went to a great runners up today, Cork. They battled and battled. We all know what it's like to be on a losing side, but I have no doubt you have a very young team, a great team, and your turn will come again. I suppose there's, there's no greater honour in the game to come up here to Croke Park, a magnificent stadium, to accept this Lee McCarthy Cup. And I suppose with family, friends, and particular, it's a great honour for my own club, Young Ireland Stafford, to represent them here today. And I want to thank each and every one in the club, players, committee, all combined, for putting me here today. Thank you very much. Throughout a long year, a lot of things have to go right. And certainly, things go right from us right from the start. We have a magnificent sponsor. Some fellas are saying we have too much gear. But I don't know, but whatever we have, we certainly have a very happy camp when it comes to gear and prepara preparation. And that's all down to a magnificent sponsor in Avonmore. Behind them, we have a great supporters club led by Frank Morrissey and Jim Freeman. We have a great county board led by Ned Quinn and Pat Dunphy. We have a great backroom team. We have Noreen Roach on dietitian. We have Joe Malone, Racker Cody on the hurls, Ty Crowley, Robbie Lodge, all our medical backroom team. And I hope I haven't left out anyone. I see Barry Hickey down there as well. But I suppose, when it comes to the crunch, we have a man who's with us for 10 years, has a team peaking every year, certainly that we've got to all Ireland stage. Magnificent Cork man, Mick O'Flynn. <laughs> Some fellas take a lot of stick. And when it comes to selectors and management, I suppose they're always in the firing line, no matter what county they're in. They have tough decisions to make. They get or they earn respect of everyone. We have two great men, a legend in Harlan Noah's game, and a great man in the background, great selector, Johnny Welsh, and of course the one man at Nick is always on the block, Brian Cody. Ultimately, no All Ireland or no match can be won without a team, without a panel. And anyone that was in James's Park or Nolan Park for the last six or ten weeks would have seen how we would have trained. And 15 fellas went down today, but in no uncertain terms, those 15 wouldn't have been prepared without 15, and in actual fact, 18 others who are there, who are fighting, fighting as strong as the team that went out today, just to be part of this panel and to try and make their team, make the team. And I want to thank, it's a great honour for me up here, but I would not get that honour if it wasn't for those 33 players out there. Lads, thank you very much. <laughs> I've enough said. There's a lot of celebrating to be done. I look forward to being in Kilkenny tomorrow night and in Gorn on Tuesday night. And with that, I'd like to give Donald O'Grady, Alan and Brown, and all the Cork players three cheers. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Thank you very much. Tom Clare with the Alaska Cork
Curran, Liam Bacori, go over the hands on the Chono go Haltain, cut down the four now. Go Kerva Sakela, Boite, Egon Hunte, I was on Truka Dick down on their fad, Boite, Egfurin, John Allen.
privilege to lead out this great bunch of players and accept this cup on their behalf. So thanks a million, lads. To our supporters, that's... I can't say enough, no you. We've had some great years over the last not 10 or so years, and you come out and support us every day. But last year, when we were down, the reception we got back home at Kilkenny was unbelievable. And even though we've been in the best form, every one of these players really appreciated it. And no doubt, we'll see you all again tomorrow night when we read the cup home. Temporary. That's you're a close neighbors. We know you well, we've got the college of you. We saw your wish in against you. Your super team. You gave us a hell of a match in 09. You came out on top last year, that's deservedly so. And again this year it was some match. You super team lads. There's nothing I can say that's gonna make you feel better. We were there last year, lads, you know what's like. There's no doubt we'll be back. You're a great bunch of lads, lads. Best of luck to you. We look forward to being the last next year again, lads. Three chips for Tim. Hey, big. Hey, big. Hey, big. Thanks very much.
presents the name McCarthy to David Buck. Galway are all Ireland champions 2017. What a moment. History before your eyes. Emotional, spiritual. This is Harlan. This is what it means. I was It's more than I'm done. McCarthy, a glock air son, Fern Nagaliva. We waited 29 long years, but finally, Lee McCarthy's coming back to the Michal Donahoe. It's an absolute Hugs Margaret Keady, wife of the late Tony Keady, who's here with her family. And to be a part of that tradition now is absolutely massive for me. I suppose the most special thing about GEA 15 years ago, I was a 12 year old Little Cup for St. Thomas's down left and right. And the special thing about the GEA is when you can have dreams like this. And when dreams come true on days like this in September, and you get up there and you lift the cup for your county. None of this will be able to happen without these bunch of lads that are standing down the steps before me and my left. They're absolutely serious bunch of guys. The management team that have been put in place behind them, absolutely massive as well. But the work, commitment that they put in, not only this year, but over the last number of years, to get the reward today is just for them. Also, it would be a miss of me not to mention players past management that have gone down through the last 29 years who put blood, sweat, tears into trying to get up these steps. And this is, uh, this is for everyone from Galway. This is for clubs, this is for family, this is for people of Galway. I can't let the day pass. 29 years ago, this man got man the match in North Ireland final in 1988. It will be amiss of me not to mention his name, the great Tony Keady. To Tony, wife, Margaret, children, Shannon, Anthony, Jake and Harry, we hope to lift the cup today. We'll give you some solace from your grief, if only for a few seconds. <laughs> One other person that I can't let today pass without mentioning. He was soldier with us for years. Good friend of mine, first cousin of Conor Whelan. He passed away in 2014. Now you don't know who. We'll never forget him. We'll remember him today. We'll give a small shout out to the Terry and Terry and Pieta House who are doing great work for people that are in, I suppose, depression, and hopefully they'll help many more. The next man I want to mention 
We, we rarely, well, sometimes we see eye to eye, sometimes we didn't. But I have to say, the team he brought in around him this year and last year, absolutely serious team he brought in, backroom team. This man, you have to give him the biggest round of applause of the day, Michal Donahoe. The backroom team, the next two lads, Francis Ford, Noel Larkin, the selectors, they put in massive work. Serious, serious guys on and off the field. The greatest characteristic about them is they're just great people to have around, great people to work with. Our coach, strength and conditioning, Lucas, he held us in serious shape. His attention to detail is, is second to none. Our medical team, Ian O'Connor, Dave Hanley, Alan Daly, Orl Armstrong. I mean, for them to put up the lights of us over the last couple of years, we thank them today. Other, other members that deserve huge mention, Damien Joyce, Dave Morris, Chris O'Connor, the goalkeeping coach, our kit men, Derek Ford, Rory McGuard, Adrian Silver, and the great Tex Callan. Also, Maeve, our nutritionist, Kieran Cosgrove, and Owen and the crew at Feed the Pulse, we'd like to thank them as well. A special mention as well. Good friend of mine over the last number of years since I came on the panel. Been working with him closely. Mike Larkin, we owe you a huge, I suppose, debt. Um, the work you made things so much easier over the last couple of weeks. Along with yourself, Pat Kearney, John Hines, John McGann, we'd like to thank you as well. The next group of people I'd like to thank. I'm echoing the, the, the words of all my fellow panel mates, um, our family, the wives, the girlfriends, the people who put up with us day in, day out. Um, we'd like to thank them massively from the bottom of our hearts, especially my own mother and father, who have, um, I suppose, got me to this stage and I hold a huge debt of gratitude towards them as well. Thanks very much. And finally, the 16 men were the supporters from Galway, and this is for you! <laughs> Just a couple of more people I'd like to thank the sponsors of the championship, Little Woods, Board Gosh Energy, Centra, especially our own sponsor, Supermax, Pat Numa, Una McDonough, soldiered with the county, put in massive support financially over the last 29 years, and for them to get their award today is massive, and I'd like to thank them for the bottom of my heart as well. I'd also like to thank the officials, referee, the linesmen, the umpires, the force officials, all the lads that made this possible today. Also the local media, God of Bay, good friend of mine, Nile, Sean Walsh, I'd like to thank them. And lastly, I suppose, to Watford, I mess with respect um, for the management, for the players, for Kevin. Um, Claire Brass, fortunately, will be on. I guess by law, I log up, lads. He'll have another day again. You're a young team. You're an up and coming team, and he'll be back. And I'd one like to meet you again. Three cheers to Watford. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Welcome back to the West Leaven County. We miss you all. What a moment here in Coke Park. The emotion and the joy etched on everybody's faces here. All the Galway people will celebrate this in style. Great speech by David Burke.
And let's go down to the sideline for some post-match reaction.